Cody Rhodes was just teasing some interesting stuff during an interview, and we couldn't help but come on here and talk about it. You know what I'm saying? There, There's a lot of people that think Cody's work or promos have been getting a little bit worse ever since he got the title. So <laughs> I'm sure there are some people that think that this would be a great thing for Cody Rhodes. Kenny, let me hear your thoughts, man, because you're very opinionated on this topic. Yes, 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 because I feel like our boy Cody Roderick Jermaine Rhodes has been drowning. We saw Cody Rhodes get, like, it seemed like he reached his peak when he was feuding with The Rock because even I was like, who, Cody, man, he is cooking. This mm -hmm. boy is cooking. But then The Rock left, and it seems like Cody's soul left with The Rock. And ever since then, they haven't really put him in these good feuds. He had his first feud with AJ Styles, I believe. It was like one week, boom, and it's done. Now we see him going in here with Logan Paul in just a meaningless match because only one title's on the line. And when one title's on the line, guess who's going to win? The person who's not putting their title on the line. Um, no, no, no. That's actually wrong. The person who is putting their title <laughs> on the line is going to win. So I think Cody Rhodes needs something. And based on what he kind of teased here, it could be exactly what he needs because we saw it work in AEW. I'm not even going to say what he's teasing. Kiddo, what do you think? Drop the bombshell on him. I was actually going to open with that as well. What he did in AEW, if you watch that, man, it wouldn't be a big surprise if he did it here in the WWE too. Uh, the man, the man just, I guess, he found like the holy grail, what he's supposed to do in his head anyways. Oh, okay, this is going to get me over. This is the perfect thing for me to say at the top forever. It didn't, really, it didn't work at him, uh, for him in the AEW that much because he was at the end of his career, especially there. He was getting booed a lot and people were hoping for him to turn heel and begging for him, as a matter of fact, to turn heel. Uh, but yeah, uh, I don't know. This this thing is teasing. I guess since you haven't said it yet either, I'm not gonna say it either. But I think if he does this, it's better than nothing right now because that's what he's doing. With AJ Styles, he did absolutely nothing. I know some guys don't like to hear that, like uh, just Brian over there. But it is the truth. We need anything to spice things up. You know what I mean? And what he's teasing right here could be that thing. But Brian, what do you think? First of all, the AJ Styles and Cody Rhodes match was a good match, first of all. Five-star match, bro. Five -star oh, match. Yeah, sure. According to Dave Meltzer, man. But uh, the uh, the thing with Cody, bro, I mean, a lot of stuff that didn't work in AEW worked in WWE, like this whole American Nightmare persona. True. Because it, was, it, didn't, it wasn't getting over in AEW. It got over here. I don't know who he could possibly bring. I threw out there Jim Cornette because he's been Hey, man, you didn't do the reveal yet. You got to tell them what he's teasing. <laughs> oh, my fault. <laughs> well, uh I don't know what he could be doing here, but um, right now, man, I mean, Cody Rhodes, does he need the big tease? Does he need the manager? What do you think? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Cody Rhodes is teasing that he's going to be bringing a manager in for this championship run. Or he's saying that's what he wants to do. I don't know if it's yeah. concrete yet, but he's kind of teasing that that's going to happen. So go ahead, Brian. You said he should bring in the <laughs> He should bring in Jim Cornette, my boy. Oh, let's do it. Let's so, get it, man. The reason why is because, bro, there is no, like, he's been name dropped multiple times on TV. So why not bring him in? I heard that last time. I looked it up. I got. I had to get my info on this. Uh, Jim Cornette was kind of bounced because of uh, they were arguing over the parts who gets OVW or the main part, something like that. It was it was a little deep. But, hey, man, why not give the guy a legendary run as a manager, get him up out of here, get him in the Hall of Fame, and call it a day? I think Jim Look. Cornette is just too controversial. I don't think they're going to do it. I mean, we saw the thing. He got canceled in um, uh, what, what, NWA. NWA. NWA because he said something about get the guy a bucket of fried chicken or something. <laughs> I think it was just a saying he was saying, and it kind of just fell in the wrong place. Uh, poor taste, but I don't think he meant to do it. Because uh, he does play praise black wrestlers quite a bit. So I don't think mm -hmm. the guy's racist. But the things he says, like, I think he said he was going to go to Vince Russo's house and shoot him. He's things just too like crazy. That, he's kind of like a, he's like a, he's like a loose cannon. So I don't know if you want to bring him in and kind of risk that. Because Triple H knows what kind of stuff Vince. I Come mean, on, I mean. man. That's TV right there. Come on, bring him in. I'll watch every week. That's interesting. What is he going to say? Is he going to say crazy, some, something crazy this week? Let's go. I want to find that out. And. Come on, like when The Rock came back, it was swearing all the time. It was non-PG. Bring that back. And guess what? 
The bloodline has the wise man. Well, you got to fight fire with fire. And who better than Jim Cornette? Like, I don't see anybody else being able to stand up to uh, Paul Heyman on the mic besides Jim Cornette. Because when he gets going, I, I urge you to watch his, like, old stuff or his promos. Like, he's actually pretty darn good. Uh, not only, you know, the way he talks, but he does make it believable, too. Uh, I wouldn't hate that idea, but I also think it's not going to happen. Just because the guy is... Like Kenny said, just has too many, you know, bombshells out there from the past. And it's only a matter of time until it happens again. And Cody Rhodes, from what we know, right, he wants to remain a face. It seems like he's going to remain a face for a good long yeah. while. Bringing in Jim Cornette, I don't know if it will make him a face, you know, like he might have to eventually turn heel with him as well. But do you guys have any other ideas of like who could be the manager for Cody Rhodes? Uh, you know, I was going to ask you the same thing. Arn Anderson. Uh, you got anybody in mind? Who is your number one kid? Who do you think? The Glock Man. Arn well, Anderson. Ooh. Is he still <laughs> with AEW? I know his son got released. Oh, okay. Is Arn Anderson still with AEW? That means he's probably out of there too. He's probably, yeah, he's with them. I'm sure he signed a long contract. But if his son is out of there, he got him out of there. So I was like, okay, son, get out. And he's going to walk back uh, to wherever his son is. His son might end up in the WWE too. It's more than likely. I mean, Ooh, look he's at. Very vanilla. <laughs> I don't think yeah. he's good at all. <laughs> but NXT is perfect for him right there. I mean, you look at, yeah. what do you call him? Pillman. 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 I mean, they did wonders for Pillman, so maybe they can help him out. But in AEW, he just looked like a helpless kid out there. So it's I true. don't know about Mr. Brock Anderson. But, guys, oh, before we get out of here, uh, I did just to switch the topic. It's still on Cody Rhodes. But uh, Brian Gertz, or however you say his name, Gertz. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. He, uh, Gertz. He basically said that Cody Rhodes reacted the wrong way and it mm -hmm. wasn't planned. So I definitely did want to bring this up real quick, talk about it. How do you guys feel about that, bro? So basically without saying what he said, he's saying that Cody's facial expressions sabotaged the entire plans. Yes. Yes, they did. Now I never got to tell y'all who I thought Cole should be Cody's manager. Brian canceled oh. Christmas on me. But yeah. <laughs> I didn't have nobody anyway. I was thinking. But um <laughs> oh, maybe this yo. guy. It's bad. Oh, Diamond Dallas Page, that's yeah. another good one. But um, it's bad. I think this bad. It was unprofessional, and I think he tried to paint wow. Cody in a good light when he presented everything. I mean, it shows Cody wears his heart on his sleeve, and he wasn't happy with the moment, and he couldn't pretend like he was happy with the moment. But I thought it, I think it was unprofessional. You got a job. You got to go out there and sell this story we're telling. And the fact that Cody went out there and looked like um, somebody shot his dog, <laughs> I don't think it was a good look. I mean, he got what he wanted in the end, and we got where we are right now, but it, he, it's unprofessional. Here's go the ahead, way I look Kira. at you it. Know, what do you think? No, go ahead, Kiro. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, I thought we were talking about Hangman, but uh, yeah, Cody. Uh, Cody, oh, yeah, he on, was bro. unprofessional, and I'll agree with the, that. He's the goal, but like, <laughs> yeah, Sure. When you think about Cody, like he left the WWE in 2016 or whatever, and that whole 10 years, this is like that was the exact moment he was working for. And The Rock can just, like, at the Royal Rumble, he told, Cody was letting know, like, The Rock might take your spot. And, like, hey, like, what would you do? So I understand. I completely understand what Cody did there, but I do agree he was unprofessional. And um, it shows, once again, what I've been saying for a long time, what a lot of people have been saying, this man is an absolute masterclass politician. Masterclass mm -hmm. politician, man. Like, I, I, like, I don't even think... Like, he could have easily went out there, like you said, Kenny, and smiled. He could have done that, I think, easily. Even though this was his dream and he worked for it for years and years, he just knows so well how to work a crowd, how to cheer them up, how to, you know, get them on uh, on his side uh, when he's speaking. Like, insane politician. I just think it was a very political move. I don't even know how sincere his face was. Like, sure, I'm sure he had a lot of help because of how he felt mm -hmm. in reality, too, while making that face. But I think um, I think it was very strategical by Mr. American. American Nightmare. How do you feel about your boy, Brian? Because as that promo was going on, he looked just like you did. Y'all both had the same faces on. Fair <laughs> enough, bro. I mean, the thing with this is, bro, it's tough, it's tough to say because like Kira said, he made a good point. This is something that you've been working for, bro. And you've been there all year long. Whether the feuds were seemed like you were wasting time to get to this moment, whatever the case was, he was still there. He was carrying every house show sold out during that time while Cody Rhodes was there. So 
at that point, you're kind of thinking like, all right, bro, I'm putting in all this work. This guy who, The Rock, he obviously put the work in. He's a legend. But he just he's comes in, strolls in, and he tries to take the spot. Hey, bro. Nice you know stop. what I'm saying? And and yeah. I'm not even going to lie to you. If Cody Rhodes was in there talking about, yeah, Rock, go get him. Go do this. Go do that. Like, that would even make him look more of a dunce than what he already looked when he gave up his spot, in my opinion. Because now you won the Rumble, but you've given up your spot, and now you sitting here cheering a guy like, yeah, go do what I couldn't do last year. So I think his reaction was fine, even though it wasn't uh, – it wasn't planned, but the the thing is, it just shows how out of touch they were at the time because it's like, how are you going to have the guy who won the Rumble go and cheer some uh, guy, the other guy up just because he couldn't beat the guy last year? Like, that's out of touch to me. That just means, that, you, too. That just means that you have Kenny. not been in touch with the, the product. Versus Roman Reigns was the match to make at WrestleMania this and, year. Bro, and I'm not disagreeing, but if you're going to do that, you pull the strap off Roman last year, and you would have had your Roman and Rock match. They went about it the wrong way, man. Come on. Like it would have been weaker. Was... You built Roman up to be this big massive force. So putting him against the rock, come on, man. That's where we should have gone this year. But I mean the way everything turned out is the way it turned out. Now where we are where we are. And I think the result after the match would have been worse because they said the rock was supposed to beat Roman Reigns and then come out and retire the belt like here. Yeah, now it's the people's championship. No, that yeah. would have been bad. So. We definitely didn't want that. Long term, I guess this was a better resolution. Yeah.